In the early 1960s, Europe was experiencing a baby boom. Renault boss Pierre Dreyfus responded with the development of a radically new interior design for a mid-sized car. Car tester Christoph Bauer recalls what Dreyfus announced to his team. We've got to see things in a new light. A car cannot always consist of four seats, a hood, and a trunk. We've got to see it as a single space. The result was the 1961 Renault R4, a revolutionary and innovative compact car. And in 1965, Renault launched the R16, a mid-sized family car with a hatchback, large trunk lid, and flexible interior. During the design process, the engineers had almost total freedom. The only requirement was a front-wheel drive. In just four years, the newly established Bureau de Style progressed from a prototype to a production model R16 and built a new production facility in Sandouville near Le Havre. Christophe says when the R16 was launched, the media was impressed. They praised the car as a benchmark and symbol of practicality and held it up as a challenge to German engineering. Even today, the car is still a smooth and comfortable ride. Granted, the steering is a bit squishy, and going around curves can be nerve-wracking, but overall, this is a great set of wheels. And so the Renault R16 became an international hit. Initially, sales figures doubled year by year. By 1972, seven years later, Renault had sold over one million R16s. Renault kept producing the car until 1980, continually developing new versions, including a luxury TX model with over 90 horsepower, electric windows, and five-speed manual transmission. Christoph says the R16 has a unique design. The two-box design is a particular feature. It broke with the conventional design at the time where vehicles were divided into three boxes, the engine in front, the passenger compartment, and the trunk in back. In contrast, the R16 fused the passenger and trunk space, allowing for a flexible interior with up to seven different variations. There's the so-called normal position for when you're just driving. And the transport exceptionnel position for transporting large items. The back seat can be folded away entirely. Then there's a position relais to relax as well as the couchette position for sleeping and cuddling. <laughs> Back then, the Renault 16 had one of the most spacious and comfortable interiors of any mid-sized car. Neat features like the continuous ventilation grill and a classy ashtray express a typically French charm. Another clever feature, metal rails along the flared pagoda roof. They provide stability and function as roll bars. Oddly, the torsion bar suspensions were installed one behind the other, making the wheelbase six centimeters longer on the left side than on the right. Car tester Christoph says, and there we have it. A spare tire, as well as a redesigned 1.0-liter four-cylinder engine with 55 horsepower. The engine block, cylinder head, and gears are made from a lightweight aluminum alloy. To achieve better balance, the gears are located ahead of the front axle, while the engine sits behind, more typical of modern sports cars. So the Renault was actually ahead of its time. And this raspy yet melodic sound is quite enchanting. Christophe feels the R16 stands for the famous French lifestyle, a bit eccentric but very likable and easygoing. 
Road bumps? Pas de problème. The R16 suspension smooths them right over. Too lazy to change gears? You can go 40 kilometers per hour or faster in just third or fourth gear. And the seats are as soft as a sofa. Absolument confortable. Overall, a pretty relaxing ride. The R16 really lives up to Renault's old Cars for Life slogan. It can be customized according to every owner's special wishes. Until this day, Renault has a reputation for building great family cars. It laid the groundwork for this with the 1965 R16. Christophe reckons Renault built the right car at the right time. It was produced for 15 years, from the mid-1960s until 1980 an impressive record. As the first mid-size sedan hatchback with a large trunk lid and flexible interior, it set the standard for mid-size sedans. As such, the R16 is a milestone in automotive history. Overall, 1.8 million R16s were built, but very few models are still in good condition today. Owners took Renault's slogan quite literally and drove their cars hard. Few R16s were sent in for repairs, or to the car wash for that matter. As a result, many gradually wore out over time. 